Um, <laughs> I've, I've shared this before, um, but, you know, when we communicate with each other, how we get to learn, how we all experience each other being in, if you will, a fallen spiritual system. So I'll give you an example of something that I, that I share in a lot of my videos over the last couple of years when I started putting them up. Um, because the way that I measure things by, vir by virtue of the experience, I'm having the experience as a result of becoming aware of what I experience and how I react to that. Those are chemical reactions. Those are neurons, messengers, right? So I'll give you one glaring example. When I'm perusing through my Facebook page, for example, you have these little reels. So I'm looking at certain reels that show, if you will, other units of energy, which are conscious and aware of themselves, because I've mentioned this before about what we call the invisible landscape. Okay? So in other words, the same love that I'm giving to a leopard, the same love that I'm giving to a bird, the same love that I'm giving to you, the same love that I'm giving to everything. That means that all energy that represents energy, okay, in a mirror, which means the energy that I am, which is what love is, everything that's in my mirror is getting the energy that I am because it becomes aware of what I am in energy. So this is energy management, which is magnet management. Okay, and that means that it doesn't matter if you're a leopard, a bird, or a human. Okay, so I don't distinguish one from the other. What I measure is the loss and gain of energy in everything. Okay? So, for example, you'll notice that people would put up images of what I just watched. A leopard pulling an alligator out of the pond onto the ground. Okay? Now, for me, that's not a pleasurable experience. Okay? But there are obviously a lot of people that put that sign of cuff up, put that stuff up there so this would be and it can be translated however you perceive the universe that your mind lives in okay i'm giving the same love to an alligator that i'm giving to the leopard okay so i translate with this that's one unit of energy that's consuming another unit of energy that's all it is to me in a fallen system okay so now when you want to put that into the context of living light with a soul and artificial light, where do you think it's getting its energy from? Everything between, between the polarity sides of things, right? Now we're back to the other videos that I talked about in the past. Maintaining the balance between two poles. So if you were growing up as a child, for example, when the snake population is up, the hawk population is down. That means that everything is feeding on both sides of the equation in order to maintain the balance between the two of the poles. So you can measure that off, off of what? Every species. Everything that represents a software system. So you have all the different software, right, which represents the vehicle, or what it is you're experiencing that's within a planetary software system, right, that represents a tree, a bird, a plant, a human, a mouse, a snake, a bird, a fish, a whale, etc., so what we're talking about is the, the net sum gain and loss and gain of what? Electrons, protons, neutrons. The exchange of energy between units of consciousness that are having an experience being connected to each other on our motherboard running software. That's why it's a killing field. The planet has become a killing field. Okay, Between those that run negative polarity, those that run positive polarity, and how that game is played on an AI war game board because it's a binary system. One unit of energy needs the energy from something else. That means the difference between being a self generator connected to the primal currents, right? Like a real living star connected to the primal sound and light fields. That's your Metatronic death spiral, right? Black hole states of consciousness. That's why everything here is affected by it. Everything is affected by it. Everything that is alive and living in nature. That's, the, that's a bit of a different translation. But it, it's not funny to me. But 
the way that I translate it is take a look at how many people watch that and why would they want to choose to experience that? All right? So I experience it for the reason I just shared it with all of you and how it's translated, how some of us that are here translate how the energy works between loss and gain of electrons because that's what it is. It feeds on your juice. That's what we're ending. Vampires. Have a good day. I love you all. Be good to yourselves.